Hi, welcome back to Talk Talk of the Town. Danielle Bryden with the Low Country Area Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Coalition, VITA, drops by to speak about the organization's mission. Danielle, welcome to the show. Thank I should you. say welcome back to the show. So tell us a little bit about the, uh, the program and the services it provides. Sure. So the VITA Coalition provides free income tax assistance for low to moderate income families and individuals, as well as folks who are elderly, differently abled, or limited English, proficient in English. And so um, who is eligible for, say, more of a free income tax assistance? So the way the IRS defines low to moderate income is $54,000 per year per working adult in the household. Okay. So it's a pretty generous definition. Mm -hmm. In terms of elderly, it's 60 or older differently abled, we don't do assessments of disabilities at the site. So if someone comes in and says they have a disability, we take their word for it. Right. And in terms of English proficiency, if they speak in a language other than English at home, that qualifies. And you only have to meet one of those four only criteria. Only one of those criteria, right. okay. So uh, until what period of time will free income tax assistance be available this year? Through April 18th, Through so April that's 18th. the last okay. day for filing this year. And um, do you require individuals to make appointments? So we have a mixture of scenarios. Most of our sites are walk-in only. Mm -hmm. At the Bluffton Library on Saturdays, we do take appointments. And at our sites in Walterboro and Hampton, we also take appointments. And all of that information is available on our website. And we have that ro scrolling across our screen mm -hmm. while, we're, while we're on air. So uh, talk a little bit about where does the program operate and, and like what documents people would need to bring with them. Good because questions. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's absolutely very important. Especially for some of our rural sites where it takes quite a while to get out there. Absolutely. So our main partner in terms of locations is the public libraries in Beaufort County. So we operate out of St. Helena, Labico, Bluffton, and Beaufort. Mm -hmm. We also partner with a number of nonprofit organizations like Deepwell, and um, the Low Country Community Action Agency to okay. offer tax preparation there. In terms of the documents, obviously W-2s, any retirement income, railroad pensions, teacher pensions, anything like that. Definitely the income side as well as the expense side, especially if folks are looking to itemize, which we can do. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of identification, we need a social security card for everyone on the tax return, as well as a photo ID for the adults in the household. And um, there's also, from what I've, uh, I've read, uh, free income tax assistance available online. Yes. Um, so how do people access that service as well as w what are the differences between that type of service and, and what you're providing? Sure. So myfreetaxes.com is the way to access that service and it's a partnership between H&R Block and United Way International that makes that available to folks. The main differences are you can do it anywhere. So anywhere where there's internet you can log on and file your own taxes. Also, the income threshold is a bit higher. So for a single adult, the income threshold for my free taxes is around $65,000 versus the 54. Okay. So if you're on the edge, that'll help you access free services. And we are hosting a Lunch and Learn to teach people how to use that free online service on Wednesday, March 21st at Bluffton Self-Help from 1230 to 130. So if folks are interested in taking advantage of it, but are a little bit you know, nervous yeah. about making mistakes, we'll help walk them through that for the first time. And then in the future, they can just log in, update their information, and they're good to go. So wow. it is very fast. Wow, that's wonderful. And just having offering that, um, that you know, that learning um, class, that yeah. informational class is so important, and that's a wonderful opportunity for people. So uh, quickly, does uh, VITA, does the VITA program have any additional needs for volunteers? Definitely, we always need volunteers. The more volunteers we have, the more people we can serve. So right now we have a team of about 70 volunteers in seven counties at 15 locations. Wow. But the more volunteers we have, the more we work we can do. So we're always looking for folks and they don't need to have prior tax experience. Okay, very nice. Well, thank you so much for what you're doing for so many people and helping them. I know it's, uh, it's, it's huge for people, so thank you. Thank you for and having thank me. Thank you for stopping by. 
and we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.